So today I'm going to talk about how I make money, not from my nine to five, from from my side hustles. So my side hustles are my art, my photography, my YouTube, my Etsy, eBay selling, and I do writing sometimes, but I don't really make money from it. Now, some of these I make money from, some of these I don't, but all of them are side hustles. The stuff that I do make some money from at the moment is my art, my eBay, and my Etsy. Now, my art, I made a, a commission oh, about a month ago, but it's been really slow at the moment. If anyone wants a commission, selfless uh, little plug here, uh, if anyone wants a commission, there's a link down to my Fiverr account, and I use Fiverr as a way of showing what my art and what I can do. If you want something that isn't in my packages, please just use my email, it'll be in the description below, and just hit me up and I will let you know what the price is. Anyways, that little stuff was plug over. Um, I use art as uh, a way of making money. I do commissions. I've been doing commissions since the age of 16, so that's what, four, six years now. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do a little math there. It's been six years of doing uh, commissions professionally, technically. Um, I've been drawing since the age of five. I have a lot of experience, I've been constantly drawing for about 10 years now and um, my art is something I take a lot of um, passion towards, a lot of pride and people like my art, they like my style, they like what I do I have a few little different styles, I generally go for more like a uh, comic booky kind of style or super hyper realistic kind of horror or something like that but I also do other stuff. I do art because I like to do it. I don't normally take commissions often but when I do people really appreciate it and I enjoy making it as a side hustle and I draw constantly anyway so yeah it gives me stuff to do. The eBay is something a little different. I sometimes buy job lots of like cameras and stuff and I haven't done it in a while. I'm still working on a uh, vintage, uh, vintage, uh, what do you call them, flashes for like film cameras, I have a bunch of those, um, I don't think I'll make any profit from it, um, I, do, I, I buy basically job, <coughs> voice break, I basically buy uh, job lots of camera equipment, I do my research on them, usually it's like film camera stuff, and then I sell them on, I don't really make a lot of profit from that, that either, um, it's just something I do as a hobby because, yeah, people might want a specific thing but they won't, might not want to buy the entire job. Another thing I do is Etsy. Now Etsy I've been doing for about two years now and it's been it's been a slow burner. Um, I maybe to get one purchase every couple of months which is kind of annoying. Uh, I want to obviously get that, a bit more momentum around that. But I basically sell uh, gem necklaces, tumbled and raw gems. I put them like little rope cages that I tie by hand. I make them by hand, and then I sell them on to people. And um, I have a few that I wear myself. This isn't one of them, um, but I have a few that I wear myself. And they they have been surprisingly durable. Uh, the materials that I've sourced were a lot higher quality than I expected, which is awesome. And I just really like making them. It, all of these are hobbies that I don't expect to make money from, but on occasion I do make money. I make maybe like, at the moment, because there's still a lot of them are quite young, I probably make like 30 to 50 euro a month, if I'm lucky. And even then, not really. Uh, things have been quite slow of late. I think it's like the after December blues where everyone doesn't really have much money. Um, that can be a uh, factor. I always wanted to try and get several streams of revenue in because it's, be it's easier to have a bunch of little streams of revenue constantly adding to uh, my my account than one big one which takes up a lot of energy and time. A lot of what I do is like hobbies and it just so happen to make me a little of money on the side. And I love sharing my art. I, I have my Twitter that I, I share my art on. I'm currently working on a bunch of pieces that I've been procrastinating about and really should finish, but I'm, I'm just stressed out at the moment, so I haven't really got around to drawing them. Now, there are a few things I do as a hobby that I would like to start making money from. I'm going to be 
brutally honest, I would love to make money from YouTube. Uh, through I have revenues and sponsors and I want to be very ethical about it. I want to make sure that uh, it's not taking value away from my videos. I don't want to do YouTube just for the money. I'm just do I'm doing YouTube because I love talking about topics. I like you know making videos and editing them and making the scene look all like nice and aesthetic. Like today's really nice because it's cloudy, so it's nice soft light, that kind of stuff. I'm I'm a more of a photographer than a videographer, so or, or cinematographer. Cinematographer, I think, is the word I was looking for. Uh, so I'm I'm not great with the video, but I'm trying. <laughs> And I might get a little more adventurous the more uh, I get confident and comfortable with, especially shooting in public. I'm terrible. I don't feel comfortable in shooting in public. Uh, another one is photography. Now, photography I've been doing for years. I've, I've had my Instagram where I've been basically shooting on my phone for the longest time. Then I had a Fuji X Pro 1, which was a beautiful camera. And I'm so sad I got rid of it. I regret getting rid of that camera. I should have just kept it as a second cam. Because it shoots such beautiful images, such crisp images, especially with like a Fuji, uh, Fujinon 50mm manual lens that I had an adapter onto my camera. Mm, that lens was good. I miss it so much. I regret getting rid of it. So that happened. And then I moved on to a Canon like Rebel, I can't remember which Rebel it was, but it was like one of the cheap ones, which was really crap for videos because I wanted to make videos and then I realized it was shite for videos, so I sold that. And then I got this one, which is the Canon EOS 200D, and it's alright, it takes good quality images and the video is pretty good. Um, all my photography at the moment is shot on this camera and this camera alone. And Recently my Instagram has been starting to pick up and uh, I enjoy photography so much and since I'm in a country that has some very aesthetically pleasing architecture and some very stunning landscapes, even though it's just fields, it gets misty and foggy and I love that kind of atmosphere. Um, so if I can start making money from either my Instagram or from the photos themselves or people like commissioning me for as a photographer, that would be an awesome revenue stream. I would love that. Like doing photography as a job would be awesome. And another one would be uh, maybe writing as well. I'm not a great writer, I'm dyslexic to start off with. and. I'm not really much into creative writing, I'm not very good at it. Um, but more factual writing I'd be more into because I love talking about stuff like this, but basically doing the same through writing I could do. Though I don't really think it'll be much of a revenue stream for me. But that's kind of what I do on the side uh, from my 9 to 5. I don't make a lot of money at the moment, but this is marathon, not sprint. I understand that. If I continue to work at these consistently over a long period of time, then the revenue streams will start opening up and I'll start to be getting a significant amounts of revenue from these uh, different assets. I know that a lot of people say that millionaires have six, usually between four and six streams of revenue, maybe even more. So if that's the case and if I start making revenue from some of these to the point where they actually are making significant revenue not not just like 20 euros a month but actual like 100 euro or 200 euro a month I might actually become able to become self-employed I'll still be a barista on the weekends at that time but it may take me five years 10 years 20 years however long it may take I don't care I'm I'm not here for the money when it comes to these side hustles I'm here for the process of art, of the creation, of, of the marketing, of all these things. Because I love doing these things. It's fun. Am I good at them? No. But no one was ever really good at the start. It takes practice. So the more I practice these things, the better I'll get. The more likely I'll make money from them. The more likely it'll make it easier for me 
to finance myself to do these things. Like, I'm 21 years of age. I'm, I've got like three lifetimes ahead of me. Well, I've got two lifetimes technically. Like, let's say if I live the age of 60, I've got 40 years ahead of me. Maybe even more. I've potentially got 60 years if I'm lucky. And that is, that's a lot. Like, 20 years is nothing. So, if I just keep on applying to these and start making significant revenue in the next 10 years, that's my life pretty much set when it comes to my income. Every little bit helps. So, if I just keep on milling away at these, keep on trying uh, at these, and just keep on going, within 5 to 10 years, I could be making some serious money in total from all of these different potential revenue streams. Now I'm not guaranteeing that that's going to happen, I just understand that this kind of income is, it's a, it's a marathon, it takes time, it, it's a slow burner, and it's not going to be magically start making money for me. Sure I'm stressing out in the short term because I'm struggling to pay rent. But life will get easier for me later on and that's why I do these things is because I love the process as I've said I love these as a passion and eventually they'll become my income now when they start becoming my income will I like them as much because they're then quote unquote a job I don't know I may fall out of love with some of these things and may not want to do them anymore but right now I'm enjoying all of this, all of these side hustles, I'm, I have a passion for them and it makes me so happy to be able to do these passions. So yeah, that's kind of really all it's about in the end. Um, like side hustles are great and if you feel like, oh, I'm not getting anywhere with my side hustle, I'm not making any money from it. Believe me, I'm in the same position. It's just, you need patience. You just need patience and dedication and persistence and eventually you'll start to find things start lifting off. And you might actually start making money from it. Anyways, I think that was everything I can talk about this topic. If you have any questions or if you want to have a look at some of the stuff I've talked about today, there will be links in the description below that you can check out. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.